you for being sick last month. I'll take that. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so, so I have the story of the, the turtle who talked to me. And I've been listening the past couple of months at, at chapter meetings saying, make it your own, make it your own, make it your own, make it your own. And so immediately when I read the story, I, I thought, that's it. I'm going to do it that way. And then I told my wife, she said, yeah, that's it. And then, then I, I wrote it all out and, and I chickened out. And, and, and I thought, no, this is, people are going to be offended by this. <clears throat> but this is my own. I'm going to own this story. And I'm going to tell it the way that I want to tell this story. And if I offend anybody, well, know that it was in good humor. <laughs> Once there was a fat orange turtle who lived in a pond, who <laughs> called himself Creative genius. He's not in the world. What does Trump call himself? Smartest man ever. No, the genius, the genius part. Oh, a stable genius. Stable genius, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and the stable genius um, lived with, with a pair of, of, of swans and some other water birds, some animals, and then the children would come to him. And it was a lovely place. But, but Stable Genius you know, loved to talk about himself, because he was obnoxious. He would, he would know anything about everything and everything about anything. And he would tell you. And he would tell you how smart he was. In fact, he would say, I am the smartest person in the world, even though I'm a, I'm a turtle. And I know what's best. Me among, um, among all others, I know what is best for this. Now, things were really pretty nice in the body. Everybody kind of liked it. Um, but, but, um, but he just didn't like it at all. And, and he didn't like some of the people who came to the pond, some of the animals and some of the other, some actually live people. And, and he, he said, you know, these people who are coming to, to visit our pond are criminals, and they're, and they're rapists, and they're drug dealers. <laughs> and we've got to keep them out. <laughs> and so he had this great idea. He said, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this great wall, and it's going to go all the way around the pond, and it's going to, you know, keep all these, these, these people who come to visit us out of here, because we don't want them, we don't need them, because they are foreigners. And, and this concept was kind of controversial. And some of the, some of the people who lived in the pond didn't like this idea at all. And, and they would speak up. But, but, but before they would talk, he would say, we got to keep, we got to keep these bad hombres out of here. And they're not going to come in here, not in my apartment. They, 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 they are just nasty people. They don't really belong here. And, and, and people would say, well, no, they're not so bad. They're, they're just, you know, common ordinary folk. And, and, and the kids would, would say, you know, we're not criminals. We're not rapists. We're not drug dealers. We just come here and we have fun. And it's a lot of fun to come here to the pond. We play with the animals and we swim and we fish. And we always practice a good husbandry uh, 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 in the fish because we catch a release. <laughs> and so um, the, the stable genius, though, was, was convinced that his idea was right. And he was going to make sure that this happened. And so the, the, the animals started objecting. And they said, no, no, no. We, we don't need this. And the children said, you know, please don't do this. We just want to have fun. And the swans, the swans said, hmm, we just love to go around the lake and have just have a wonderful time. And the stable genius said, well, sure. You're, you're just a, 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 a socialist a, a swan who just wants all kinds of good things for everybody. But that's not the way the world is. No, no, you, you're not going to have that. Next, the next thing was the, the, the chipmunks. And they were laughing. There were some cute little tails are wagging in the back. They looked at him and said, You know what? This thing I can have. You cannot, you cannot make the world fall enough because birds will fly over. You cannot make it deep enough because we'll burn wonder. <laughs> and the birds laughed with them too. And they, they all thought it was really a funny thing. And the sea was just genius. Said, oh no, no, I'm going to make the wall tall enough and, and so that birds can't fly over. They're going to be deep down into the into the the, the, the the soil where nobody can burrow under it. And so, 
time passed, and the animals who came, the kids who came to the pond, they were not going to pay for it. Why would they do that? To keep themselves out of it? No, not going to happen. All the other animals in, in the pond said, no, we're not going to pay for it. We like things just the way they are. Stable genius was, was wealthy. And so Stable genius took money out of his own pocket, and he had the wall for it. Well, sure enough, the wall went up all the way around the pond. But the birds still flew over, and the kids and the, and the rabbits and the, the chipmunks burrowed under. But because the, the wall was so tall, it got dark in the pond because the sunlight couldn't get in. And pretty soon, you know, things were just kind of not very pleasant to be there. And so the swans flew away, and the kids went to play someplace else. But here was stable genius. He was in his, his, in his elegance. And because of global warming, the pond shrunk and shrunk and shrunk until there was just a little island where he, where he kind of perched himself sometimes. Ah. One day, there was a pair of geese flying over. And they, they looked down and they saw there was a little bit of water. And they were thirsty, so they came down. And, and Stable Genius started talking. And he said, you know what? I, I built this great wall. And I'm really important. And I'm the, most, uh, I'm, I'm the, the smartest person in the whole world. And he went on and on and on. Finally, one of the geese said, hey, buddy, you know, just kind of knock it out, would you? You're in a tough spot here. You really don't understand how, how bad things are for you. And yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to let you come with us. We're going to fly over the, to the lake where we live, and you can come with us. And then Stable Genius says, Lord, am I stupid? Do I have wings? Well, no, of course you don't have wings, but we'll, we'll get you there. But, you know, if you don't want to go, that's fine. You know, we'll just leave you here. But we do have a golf course, and, you know, you might want to consider uh, you know, taking some time off. And so the Stable Genius, he said, Well, I, I think, I, I think maybe I could take some time off. And I haven't had a vacation this week yet. <laughs> and I love my golf. So one of the geese flew over and got a stick. He brought the stick back. And he said, now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the stick between our, 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 our feet. And you're going to be in the middle. And you're going to clamp on with your mouth onto the stick. But, and we're going to fly off. But you cannot, you cannot open your mouth and talk. You have to keep your mouth shut. Because if you don't, you're going to fall. It's curtains for you, buddy. So that's what happened. They had the, 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 uh, the stick between their feet, and and and, and Stable Genius was glad, uh, 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 climbing on to the to the stick, and off they went. And Stable Genius looked down. Oh, this is really beautiful. He loved all the mountains and the and the hillsides and the valleys and the river, but, but then he was distracted. There, there was noise down. Chipmunks. <laughs> hey, look at you. Ha, you look so funny. You're so stupid up there. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go over. We're going to call over. And we're going to play all the we want. And the stable genius said, he was about to say, no, don't do that. But he remembered. He had not to talk. He wanted to tell them he was going to come back and he better not go over there. So he let it go. Pretty soon, the, pretty soon the swans were coming in and they flew in around. And they looked at him. They were laughing. <laughs> it's so funny to see this stable genius with his mouth on the stick and, and, the, and, 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 and see him. And this one said, well, it looks like you finally found the way, the smart way to, to live your life and got out like we did. And this stable genius was so angry and he shaking his paws at him and, and, they, and they were not afraid at all. In fact, they were laughing. They were having a good time at his expense. But he didn't let go. He didn't open his mouth. He flew on a little while, a while longer. And down below were the children. And the children looked up at him. And they started laughing and laughing and laughing. Laughing and laughing and laughing. Na, 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 na. You're up there. We're down here. We're going to go over and we're going to tear down the wall. And we're going to have a good time. He was incensed. And he opened his mouth. Shouldn't do it. And he fell to the ground. He landed on his back. And his shell was broken into thousands of pieces. And he couldn't talk. And from that day on, that's the way turtles are. They have cracks on their backs. And they don't talk. <laughs>